brought to you through the regional support of First 5 Fresno County, First 5 Tulare County, and First 5 Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. Oh, good. How many did you get? Four. Today we're going to show you an activity that's done typically indoors, bowling. And there's many different advantages for outdoor bowling. For example, you can do it in bare feet. You don't have to wait for an alley. And bowling is unlimited. Today, we're at the home of Allie, Jenna, and Hunter. We needed to collect a few items in order to get the ball rolling. We collected some recyclable two liter bottles, about seven of them, and filled them with water. We had some extra paper, so we decorated them and taped the paper to the plastic bottles. We used a soccer ball and a basketball, but you can use a softball, a grapefruit, or even a bean bag. Okay, so first we're needing to do, we're needing to set our, our, um, our pins up. We drew a line which would mark the beginning of the alley. Okay, we ready? Okay, each of you grab a ball, and we're gonna walk over here to the starting line. Now you're doing it? You got your bowling boots on. Oh, two more. So how many did you knock down? Points can be awarded to the person who can knock over the most, or you can just have fun. One, two, three, go. Oh. Is my kind of game. I aim for the one pin, two pin, three pin, four, five pins down the lane. With a boom and a bang, they hit the floor, and I throw the ball again. So there you have it. Outdoor bowling is a great activity that we can use things around the house. It's also a great way to incorporate math skills as we count the number of pins as we knock down. It's also a wonderful physical activity that incorporates fine motor skills, gross motor skills, coordination, eye-hand coordination, turn-taking, and creativity. Brought to you through the regional support of First 5 Fresno County, First 5 Tulare County, and First 5 Madera County. Because it's all about the kids.